welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and another burst of Sudoku today. So um, first of all, just to mention that we will be streaming tomorrow evening um, at 10 p.m. our time, which is an hour before this video comes out. So uh, look out for that. We'll be going back to the, the good ship Obradin and see if we can figure out more of what's been going on there, which now involves at least three races of extremely strange creatures. Um, I will say no more in case you haven't watched the past episodes. Fascinating game that is. Now, um, we also, of course, are nearly halfway through the period of the month in which you can enter our new monthly reward on Patreon, which is called... Um, what's it called? It's called the Paint by Numbers Institute by Zeta Ma by sorry, by Panthera and the Asylum, um, and features some absolutely intriguing Japanese sums, puzzles, many of them very approachable. I mean, I do recommend it. Um, that is still going on. We're getting lots of correct answers in. Well done to those of you who've done that. There is other content on Patreon, and tomorrow I'll be putting up my um, Cryptic Solve, the absolutely beastly monthly puzzle from the Times Monthly Club Special, Really interesting um, if you're into recherche vocabulary and very hard cryptic crossword clues. Um, anyway, that is for the hardcore, perhaps. Now, also, uh, we have all our apps and merchandise proving very popular. If you want to say bobbins with a mug, this is the one to do it. Cracking the cryptic on the other side, um, always a good choice. And there are all sorts of clothes, including a cap now and um, various Happy Holidays merch going on there. So do have a look at it. We are getting very good feedback on the merch people have received. That's great news. And there's the Sudoku Pad app as well as all our apps. And Discord is worth mentioning because this puzzle has been recommended by the guys on Discord, even though it's been there for a long time. It's apparently about nine months old. It's by Philip Bloomer, known as Glum Hippo, uh, although I think he's changed his moniker on Discord at the moment to some other sort of hippo, feasible hippo. So let's hope this puzzle is indeed doable. Um, and it's got an intriguing rule set. So normal Sudoku rules apply and sandwich Sudoku rules apply. So a clue outside the grid shows the sum of the digits sandwiched between the one and the nine in that row or column. So in this column, wherever the 1 and the 9 appear, the digits in between them add up to 12. So you could have a, a well, let's say a 1 here and a 9 here, and those two could add up to 12. That's one way that could work. There are multiple ways, I imagine. Now, the arrows are not our normal arrows. Um, don't worry about the green ones. That's just to distinguish them from the grey ones. Don't worry about arrows going through circles. This is just a long four-cell arrow, it's not a short one-cell arrow. Um, but the rule is not the normal rule where the numbers along the arrow sum up to the numbers in the, the number in the circle here, they average to the number in the circle. So these five numbers must be divisible by five if you were to add them up, and when you divide that total by five, you will get that number. So they could add up to 25, and that would be a five. For instance, that's how it works. So, have we done an average arrow puzzle? I think we've done a puzzle once where arrows could be either averages or sums. I sort of vaguely remember that. I don't know who by, sorry. But you could look in our catalogue, which is also linked in the description field if you wanted to find out, probably. Anyway, do give this a try on the link under the video. Philip is a very entertaining constructor, so. We're almost guaranteed a good ride here. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. How do we get cracking on this? There are a couple of one-cell arrows. So I suppose in this case, whatever digit is there must be its own average. That's obvious. And that digit must appear in those three cells in row six. Same here. So it could be a seven in there. That's really not telling us much. I don't, I mean, these average arrows, they're not a lot of use. I don't see how, okay, let's have a look at this six cell arrow. 
So the minimum that lot could add up to is the triangular number for 6 is 21. The maximum is 45, the sum of the digits 1 to 9, but don't tell anyone, it's a secret, okay? Um, minus the triangular number for 3, which is 6. So somewhere between 21 and 39 is this total, and that makes its average somewhere between 4 and 7. Oh, and it can't be 7 because we've got a given digit. How kind, Philip. So that's 4, 5, or 6, but I mean, what does that tell us? This has more... I sp oh, okay. I, I'm beginning to understand. Right. Okay. Let's go back to first principles and look at sandwich Sudoku. Now, what I would normally do in a sandwich Sudoku, and indeed, this one does have nine sandwich clues, so that's not a bad number, is I would look at a column. Let's take this 28, which is useful. And I would say, how big is the sandwich? How many digits are in between the one and the nine contributing to the 28 sum? Well, a corollary of the rule of 45 is that in a sandwich Sudoku, the biggest number you can get as a clue is 35. And that's because if one and nine were on the outside, the digits in between would be two to eight and they add up to 35. They're the digits from which we're always selecting the sandwich. Now, how big is a 28 sum in terms of numbers of digits? Well, if you add eight, seven, six, and five, you get 26. So it's either five cells long or six, basically. And therefore, whether it's five there, six there, five there, six there, or five there, which are the only possibles, these three are always in the sandwich. They cannot be one or nine. Now, the same is true if we look at the 23 clue, you can't have a 1 or 9 in the middle because you'd have to have the other 1 or 9 at the end. These three, the maximum they can add up to is 21, being 8, 7, 6. So that cannot be a 1 or 9. The same is true in a 22. Again, 21 is the maximum for three digits. So that's green, meaning not 1 or 9. Now, the thing I think we can add to that in this puzzle is surely we can make these circles green as well because they can't be 1 or 9. They're all adding, the only way a circle could be a 1 or a 9 is if every cell along its length was that same digit. Now that might apply for this little arrow, but that circle's also linked to this arrow. And they can't all be the same. Actually, three of them could be, but uh, not all of them. That could be the same, but the cells along here can't be the same. So none of the circles in this grid can be a 1 or a 9, and I am allowed to colour them all green, therefore, by my own rules. <laughs> so there we go. These are green. Right, now in the 23 clue, this one is not green. This has to be a 1 or a 9. Let's make it red. And the maximum length of a 23 sandwich is 5. I know that not by doing the maths of 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, but by looking at the outies, so we subtract 23 from 35 and the outside cells have to add up to 12. Well, that can't be just one cell. It must be two. Those two indeed do add up to 12, but that could be a 4, 8 or a 5, 7 pair. I'm going to fill in those possibilities. Um, and we've got two one nines placed, but not in columns with their own sandwich clues, which is annoying. Ah, but look at the, yeah, seven is obviously not one or nine, so that's green. Now, in this column, eight, 19 can't be made up of just eight and six as a sandwich. It could be eight, six, five. So the sandwich is at least three cells. And I think wherever one or nine are here, we can color that one green as well. Um, now, in the 28, this, I don't think that can be in it. No, it can actually, yeah. No, that, this could be a, a length of six sandwich with one and nine on the ends. 
No, it couldn't be. It couldn't be, actually, because then the outies, remember, subtract 28 from 35, the outies have to add up to 7. And if you put the 1 and 9 in those two cells, that would be a 7. And that's the one digit we know it can't be. So 1 and 9 can't be there and there. And that means this is green, weirdly. It can't be the 1 or 9, because that would force a 1 or 9 there and break there. So we've got one there that is a 1 or 9, one there, one there, one there. I'm tempted to mark these dominoes purple. 12's not very useful at the moment. Um, 22 row might be useful because of the 7 in it. That's part of the outies. The outies add up to 13. So with the seven in, they're either two or three digits long. I don't think this, this must always be green. I don't think this could be one or nine. Yeah, because that's it's given that that's green, that, that must be true. That could be, though, with another one here, these four could add up to 22. That would then have to be a four and a two, but that's possible. Bother. Um... I'd love to have eliminated even that possibility, but can't do it. Right, in this row, the 1 and 9 have to be next to each other because of the zero sum. So this one, which can't be next to a 1 or 9, is also green. But the 1, 9 could be there, there, or there. Three possibilities. No, actually, maybe not. Have a look at this 13 row. With that green there, this is slightly interesting. I don't know. But I'm going to claim that there must be a 1 or a 9, and only one, in these three cells. Now, 13 can be made up of... It can't be made up of four, four digits that are available, because 2, 3, 4, and 5, the minimum, adds up to 14. So it can be made up of three or two digits. The sandwich is two or three digits. The one and nine must be there for at least three digits apart, which will always put them in different boxes. They can't be in the same box. And the maximum sandwich here is three cells. So I don't think you could have one and nine stretching across boxes one and three because you'd have to have four cells in the sandwich. So therefore, there must always be one of the one and nine in this group. And that means these two can't be one and nine. And therefore, this isn't, although this still could be. We could have one nine there. On the arrow, what would that mean? That would mean they would add up to 10. That could be a two, five, or eight to make 12, 15, or 18, making that a four, five, or six. And that's only if there's a 1, 9 there, so I can't fill in that. That could be 1, 9 instead. And there'd be... I don't see that an extreme digit is unwelcome on an arrow. In fact, I think it's probably quite useful. Oh, I'm a bit stuck then. Um, six clue. It's always got a sandwich of one or two cells. That should be reasonably clear. Okay, what about this arrow? If that one was four, five, or six, what can these add up to? I suppose that could be... Well, they could include a one. That's the trouble. So this could be one, two, three, four, plus a one. Eleven is the minimum number. 9, 8, 7, 6 plus a 9. 39 is the maximum. Divide those by 5. Ooh. You're coming out to somewhere between 3 and 7, but it can't be a 7. So that's 3, 4, 5, or 6. That's not that helpful. What does it do? Yes, wasn't there only one way of making a three cell sum, which was 865? So if the sum was three cells, 
there'd be 8, 6, 5. Ah, that would make this 4 and that 3. Is that right? Oh, and this would be... Oh, how can they be 3 and 4? That's going to cause... Those are quite extreme numbers for these arrows. Those would have to add up to 15. These would have to add up to 24. Ah, and if those added up to 24, plus a 3 there is 27, those two would have to add up to 18. They'd both have to be 9, and that is not allowed. So does that prove that this is not a 3-cell sum here? Because that's going to be very helpful. If this is 865, you get a 4 here, you get a 3 here. The 4 means those add up to 24, and that's a 3. Yes, that's impossible. So this is a 4-cell sum. There we go. And that means these purples become red. They are the 1, 9. Uh, what do these outies add up to now? 19 plus 1 and 9 is 29, plus that is 36. These add up to 9, so that can't be a 6 anymore. Don't know what to do with that. Um, but this is a 1 or 9 in the 6 row. Right, so that's the other end of it. The two greens here are 2 and 4. Ooh, the rest of this is all green. That becomes red in this column. Can that be red? Yes, then that would be a 7, or that can be red, and they add up to 7. Oh, uh, but 22 row has at least four green cells. Yes, so we know where red goes. Uh, we don't get a clue for this column, so that stops there. But that's quite a lot of progress suddenly. No, hang on, we're not finished. We've got the 12 column. Those are green. 12 can't be more than three cells if 13 can't. So we know that that's the one nine here. That's in the 14 row. So those go green. 14 could be two, three, four, five. Actually, no, that won't work. Because if that was 2, 3, 4, 5, we get 1, 9 here. This is 6, 7, 8. But this needs to add up to 12 using either the 7 or the 8. So that doesn't work. So the 14 row has a 3 cell sandwich. And lots of the grid is coloured now. Now, this arrow looks interesting. This can't be a 9 because this means that the arrow adds up to either 4 or 8. So. That's a 1. That is 7 or 3. That 1 points at that red cell, which points at that red cell, which points at that one, which points at that one, and that... Oh, the 1 points at that one, which points at these two, and that becomes a 9, and all the red cells we've got are now filled. They're our first digits in the grid. Um, this adds 1 and another odd number. To make an average of either, well, any even, no, any small number, two, three, four, or five. Um, yeah, did we know? We don't know how that works. Ah, oh, the zero in this row, oops, in row two is fixed, sorry. It now can't be in those two cells because we've already got a red in this box. So they're green. That means these two are the red cells. That's green. Oh, green. This one is now the only outie in the column. So that's a 7 in a 28 column. Uh, that's 1. That's 9. Now, one of those we've worked out is a 1. Oh, look, one, one. Where's the one in column one? It's got to be here. We can do a bit of Sudoku. Nine has to be there in column five. So those are red. These are green. We've got the, even though we don't get a clue in column one, we've got the one and nine. And in that box, um, so one of those, if, that is red, this is a 6, and that's a 1, and that's a 9. That is possible. Okay, maybe we'd better just look at the arrows now. 
what arrows have become doable, if any? Probably none. Um, right, if this was a 6, these average 6, they add up to 36. That's a 3, and then that's 36, 39, that's a 2, 4 pair. If this was a 5, these add up to 30 plus 4, oh, then they add up to 11, which has a various number of ways. If this is a 4, these add up to 24, plus a 5 there is 29. That would have to be 16. It can't be 9, 7 because of that. So the 4 is not possible with a 5 there. So is this 6? Three, thirty. What is this? Thirty-six plus three is thirty-nine. That would be a two-four pair. That is possible, isn't it? I can't see why not. Okay, so two and eight have to be in those cells. Two is in one of those two because I know it's not there because I've got a two-four pair in the box. Um. Right, what's this? We've got three, five, six, seven, and eight to place in the row. Now, if that was a three, then these would have to add up to 12, and they'd start with at least five, six, so that's not possible. Five is a very average number. I'm sure they can add up to 20 in various ways, or 24, 28 might be a problem, 7 there, 14 there, <clears throat> um, I don't know, I'm not going to rule out 28, I don't think they can add up to 32, since none of them can be 9, no, 29 is the most, so I can take 8 out of there, so that, ah, this is 5, 6 or 7 as well, because of the single cell arrow, but look, it's not a 7. So we can take seven out of both of those. This is five or six. And look where that goes in, co in row nine. It's got to be here, five or six there. So they're all the same. That doesn't really get, well, it doesn't get much done. This arrow now adds up to either 15 or 18. But those are very middling totals, in my opinion. Oh, the one at the top, right, This, these can't be one, so one is up in one of these cells. Nine, uh, it does, yeah, nine can be in any of those, that's the trouble, I don't know about nines at the top. Um, I don't, one of these is a nine, oh, these are green, I could have done that. Nine's in one of those two. No reason it can't be on this arrow, I don't think. Ah, oh, gonna have to think of something else that gets me going. Two, four, nine, one, seven. These are from three, five, six, and eight. So that forms a quad with that. So these others are two, four, and seven. Um Right, if that's a 6, which seems to me the less likely option, these add up to 24. Ah, it's easily done. I don't think this is a constraint at all at the moment. Maybe this arrow. What can this be? One plus the minimum... 3, 5, I suppose even another 1 is 6. So this is going to be, okay, minimum 2. That's not very interesting. But the maximum now, 8, 7, 4, 1, adds up to 20. Oh, you could just squeeze that up to 5. That makes that 2, 3, 4, or 5 as well. Oh, this one's got 10 on its arrow. Right, and earlier we said if that was going to happen, this was 2, 5, or 8, making this... Oh, it can't be 5, because that's, 
the average of 1, 9 and 5 is also 5 and that would be in the same row. So this is 12 or 18 divided by 3, so 4 or 6. Two one three three one five four one seven or five one nine. Do I know more about the thirteen sum? I don't think so. Maybe I need to think more about this five and three. So if this is, a, I'm going to do this again. Sorry, I, I don't know how else to go about this. So if this was a five, these. Actually, five's more likely. Let's try if it's a six. They add up to 36. That's a three is 39. This is a two, four pair. Ah, oh, yeah, if that's a six, then the two, four pair here makes that a six as well, clashing with this six. So that's not a six. Five there, four there. Right, now these add up to six times five is 30, plus four there is 34. These two add up to 11. They're not 4, 7. Oh, I don't know what they are. Oh, but hang on. Maybe it plays into the... They add up to 11. Now, for this to be red, it has to be 9 now. Then we would go 7, 6, 1. That would be 2. So 5 would be here. 297, 615, and this would be an 8-3 pair. That works. Ah. For it not to be red, then we have a 9 over here. So this can't be 9-2 then. We have an oh, we have a 9 and a 1, and a sum of 13 is 10, 23, plus the 7 is 30. That would be all. So the 1 is there and the 9 is there, if that's the way round. Otherwise, the 1 is there and the 9 is there. And all I've got now of that is that this cell is green. Can this be a 9? That would push this quite high. 18 plus... That would be 3 or 6, making that 7 or 8. Works all right. Can this be a 9? Ah, these would have to add to an even number. So 9 plus 3 or 5, making 6 or 7 there. But again, that seems to work all right. OK, let's use this 4 in the corner, which I haven't used. Actually, wow. These have to add up to no more than 20. These have to be at least 2, 3, 4, 5. Which adds up to 14. So that's at most a 6. Can this be a 9? Yes. If there was a 2 there... Three, four, two. That's the only way. Actually, that wouldn't work because that cell says you can't have two and four here. So this isn't a nine. That's green. It doesn't quite tell us which of these is a nine. If that's a nine, that's definitely nine, two. And if that's a nine, it's definitely not. That's just totally uninteresting. Um... Oh, look, this has become an 8 because of the 4-5 pair. Well, I could have noticed that a while ago. 4 there. So these can't have a 4 in. And this now can't be a 7. 1, 4, 8, 9. So this still has several possibilities. Has that changed this? It could still be 8, 7. Oh, the 4 there has changed things. 2 and 4 now. Oh, that's still max. One, four, two, one would still let, let the minimum happen. Um, come on, come on. Two, four, one, five, 
seven. Then this would be one or five if the if that was a two. If it's a four, we're up to nine. Then this is three to make that be. Oh no, that would make that be a three as well. What am I working on now if this is a four? Yeah, that doesn't work. If one four four seven though would make that be a four as well. So that doesn't work. So I don't think this can be a four. Let me just check that again. One four four is nine plus We've got to get to a number divisible by 4. 7 puts a 4 there, which isn't allowed. 3 puts a 3 there, so that would fail. OK, so that's not a 4. How about 1, 4, 7? Maybe that will fail for me. 12 plus 4 or 8 here. 4 would mean 4. That's nonsense. But 8 would mean 5. So all of these have remained possible. With At least we've got a 4 out of there. It seems very minor, but you never know when something will prove useful. I can't quite see where the next step is, as you can tell. Um, one, four, seven, eight gives a five, or one, four, two, one, or five gives a two, or three. If that was a 1, then this would be a 1, and that would make this a 9, and this a 9. Ah, if this is a 9, oh yeah, that leads to 6 or 7 here. If this is 6 or 8, this has to be even. And this still must be at least five, actually. So if nine is there, this is six or seven. If nine is there, did I say this had to be even? I don't think that's necessarily true, actually. No, I don't think I can make conclusions about that. Can I use this five or six possibility? These add up to 15 or 18 using, well, what have we got? Two, three, five, six, seven. Actually, that can't be a seven. Oh, so one of these is a seven. So if it was 15, hmm, this could be anything from two, three, five, or six. If it was 18, Doesn't, doesn't limit it enough, even knowing that one of those is a seven, which felt like a real discovery. Is it this? I just don't believe that's helpful. Is there some digit that isn't possible in those cells? Oh no, look, eight can't be here, or five. So this is two, three, and six, yes, in this 19 sum. So 8 is definitely here. Three's up here. That's 5 or 6, yes, forcing its way into there. I don't know what to do with those. Right, 2, 2. So there's a 2 somewhere here. Well, it would be interesting if it had to be on this arrow. Maybe it would be interesting. It feels like it would be interesting. Maybe I can do this. If this goes 4192, lots of possibilities. If it goes 6198, that would have to be 3 or 7. Okay, let's go back to this 4 arrow. We've got a 4 in it. Can't have a 2. Oh, that's got interesting. Three, four, five, six are the minimum there. They add up to 18, but the total of this arrow is 20. That's it. The minimum is required now. Right. So as soon as I got that two, I should have considered this arrow again. But I've done it now. Four, five, three, six. That is the two.
Right. That must be helpful. Come on. Five and four. Five, five. One of those is a five. That's not a five. Three, six there. I don't know. It's either nine, one there. Three, six, four, five, one, seven now has to be on this arrow. Ah, nine and seven is 16. It's got to be divisible by three. So we're up to six or seven. No, it can't be seven because that would need a five on, on the arrow as well. Nine, seven and two. How about nine, seven and eight would put an eight here. Ah, that does work. Oh, but it doesn't work with a 6198 arrow. That cell is impossible. Right, so that's a 4192. Just check my maths. 12 divides by 3 into 4. Okay. Now, come on, this can't be a 2. But this, oh, this is either 72 or 78. And either way around, this is now the 7. And this is 2 or 8. And therefore it's not 9. That's very important because it places the 9. Right. There we go. So we get a 9 up here. Now the 1 has to be here because of the sum of the arrow. I remember that. 2. So the arrow is going to add up in total to 30. Which is 7 plus those 2 makes 17 plus the 13 sum. Right, so this doesn't include 9, 2. It does add up to 13, though, one way or another. Now, this has become 2 or 8. 2, 7, 8. So this is an 8. Now we know where 8 goes in this box. and It's there. This is a 7 by Sudoku. This is a 9, which is red. Um... That one I've put in is red, so this must be a one. Ah, and that helps on this arrow. Let's fill in the rest of the greens. They're all there. I'm going to look at that arrow in a moment. Let's make that red. Actually, that's super helpful because that's now a nine. Let's do that first with a five on its circle. Now, this one, four, and one is six. This has to be a two. Just want to check that it can't be a six. Why can't it be a six? Did I really find a reason it couldn't be a six earlier, or did I just miss that possibility? Oh, I think I had a three, five, six triple. Yes, that's okay. So this is a two, and this is a very small arrow. That's a two, that's a two. Now we're going, now we're going, come on. That's not a four anymore. This, do we know what this is? Oh, we know what we can add up this arrow. That's a seven. That's a four. This is a seven. Things are getting better. None of those are seven. So that's not a five. So now we're getting a bit narrowed down. Now we're going to add up to either 20 or 24. If it was 20, that feels quite small now. Three and five would need an odd digit here, which would have to be three. Oh no, that's only if I used three and five. And I can't. Actually, it doesn't work with three and five. How about three and six making twenty, nine, sixteen? Then that would be a four. Can't be a four. This is actually down to three, six or eight by Sudoku. And that is 2. So in fact, we can place the 2 in the column. Um, that's a 3, 5, 6, 8. So we can place the 4 in the box. That's a 4 as well. Let's keep doing this just in case it gives something quicker. Suddenly, I think I've done all the 4s. Um, now, come on. Six, five, 20 looks unlikely. You couldn't have an eight here because the okay. What about the minimum? Let's look at the min. What these two can add up to? They either add up to nine, eleven, or fourteen, and we're aiming at a total 
with this 7, that's 16, 18 or 21, we're aiming at a total of 20 or 24, we've got 16, 18 or 21, 4 or 2, no, we can't get the lower total, 16, 18 or 21, we need 16 or, oh, this could be almost anything, but that is a 6, that's what we know. I'll take it. 6 there, so... Um, there were various possibilities, is all I can remember. I think maybe that can't be a 5 now. 7 and 5 would be 12, and then those two would have to add up to 12, and that can't be done. So that's not a 5, so that's a 3-8 pair, that's a 5. 3, 8 and 7 will tell us what this is. They add up to 18, that's a 6. Okay, so that's not a six. Oh, more importantly, that's now a three. This this arrow is lovely. Six, seven, and five must average to six. We've got three and eight to put in there. Probably still don't know how this works yet. We'll get there. We'll get there soon. Oh, we know that's an eight and that's a three. That's a four. Five, and we are closing in finally now. If that's three or eight, that's three or eight, because they add up to 11. In fact, eight and three, we can do that. That's a two, that's an eight. Now we know this enormous average, eight there, six and three and six, and now we're just finishing off with some degree of joy. I mean, this puzzle is really rather brilliant. Six, seven, Six, five. Who knew that the arrow constraint or the average arrow constraint would work so neatly with sandwich? Only Philip. Three there. So I can do these three. Five, eight, three gives us a six and a three. One more arrow to check, which is this two cell arrow. Five makes everything work. There we go. That is a lovely puzzle. Really enjoyed that. Um, very clever, very neatly done. Yeah, entertaining. I mean, I enjoyed that a lot. There may have been quicker ways to get through some of the beginning of that, and apologies if not. Uh, I thought that was fun. So thanks to Discord for recommending it and to Philip. Maybe see you on the stream tomorrow, or I'll be back here for another video at 11 as well. And uh, Hope to see you then. Bye for now.